Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. This video is part of the Techcel series where you can see how Microsoft Excel can be used to help enhance your day-to-day -day productivity. In this video, I will show you how you can use Excel to help you manage a project using a CAD chart. Here you see on screen a project to manufacture and release a new product by a company. The table shows the different steps involved in executing the project and the Gantt chart on the right shows the pictorial representation of the same. In this case, if the completion percentage is changed of one of the steps, for example, you change it to 50% here, it will be represented on the Gantt chart. This will help you and your team to keep track of your progress and help you finish your project on time. Let's see how to do it. Here you see a project schedule of manufacturing a new product in a company. Let's say the steps involved are gathering the requirements, design of the product, cost analysis, assembly of the product, testing, quality analysis and marketing release. Let's populate the table with some information. I am just going to put some random dates. So let's say the start date for gathering requirements is 11th October. Uh, and the duration will be 5 days. Now to get a dynamic Gantt chart which will show you your progress, we need to calculate some fields. Uh, let's initially put the completion as 0 for all of them. These two fields will help us track our progress on the Gantt chart. Uh, for that we will need a formula. So we are just going to calculate it by multiplying the duration with the completed percentage and the pending days will be basically the duration subtracted by the completed days. So let's just copy the formula all over. With this data we can make an intelligent Gantt chart. To begin the Gantt chart let's just select the date column and then insert a 2D bar chart. This shows you the dates of the different tasks, uh, but we need to change the axis. So we can just select data. The horizontal category, let's just select the tasks. Okay. And then we need to have it in reverse order. So let's just format the axis categories in reverse order. Now this shows the date which we've entered in our start date. So basically 11, 16, so on and so forth. To this, we need to add the completed days column which will show you the progress for each task. So we can just add data now. Add a series with the name of completed days and the Y values as the column F. Okay. Also add another series with the name of pending days and then the data is the one in column G. And once you show this, the gray one represents the data of the pending days. Now we don't want to see the blue column. So let's just format this data series and put it as no fill. Uh, let me just change the color. Of this one to say light blue. This shows a very raw form of our chart, however, it doesn't look cosmetically good. So, let's do some changes. Let's put the date axis below. For that, you can just go to the left axis, format it, and put it that it crosses at the maximum category. And we need to start the chart from the date closest to the first task. So we can change it. Let's say it's a trial and error thing. I'm just going to put the minimum as 80. 
All right, this looks okay. And then the major unit, instead of uh, 10, I'm going to put 2. Uh, so this looks a little crowded. However, we can change it by changing the alignment of our uh, labels as, let's say, rotate. All right. Just moving the chart a bit up so that the dates are visible. There you go. Seems to be decent. Now, how can you use the completion percentage here? Let's say on the first task of gathering requirements, you complete 30% of your project. That will get shown by the orange bar. So, where the whole blue bar represents the task, the orange bar shows the completion of a particular task. Uh, let's say in design of a product, you've done 50%. So this type of chart can be used by an individual or a team to see if all the different tasks are completed in a project and at what stage of completion each task is. This information will help you and your team to track a project and ensure that all tasks are completed on time. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to Technisha. Till next time, ciao.